Okay, here we go. Question 28, the final question in the paper, and um, it's a vectors question and, and can be deemed quite a tricky one. Um, so we got APB uh, as a triangle, a APB, uh, and N is a point on AP, and we got three vectors given, and we're asked to find the vector PB in terms of A. So we want this vector here. Um, we want this vector PB in terms of in terms of A and B. Now, the information I have has to do with this vector here, AP and AB. So if we consider, if I was to travel, uh, to get from P to B, one way of doing it is to go along this vector and then go along this vector. So if I go in this direction from P to A, that would be equal to minus 3b, minus 3b. The reason, the direction here is it going from A to P, and that's positive 2b, and that's B, so that would be 3b if I go from A to P. But if I go backwards, if I go from P to A, it's going to be minus 3b, okay? So I'm going to go minus 3b, and then I'm going to travel along here, which is A. So the answer is A minus 3b. So fairly straightforward for the first mark. Okay, the next part of the question is quite tricky. Um, B is the midpoint of AC and M is the midpoint of PB. Um, show that NMC is a straight line. Um, we've got to show um, and communicate the answer clearly to the examiner because we have the asterisks. Now, let's just fill in on the diagram what we already know. We know that PB, this vector here, Let's just tidy this up a wee bit. PB, to go from here to here, we know is A minus 3B. So it's A minus 3B when we travel in this direction. Now, if M is the midpoint, if M is the midpoint, that means that, uh, <laughs> it means that that was a shocking curly brackets. Let's try that again. There we go, a little bit better. Um, M is the midpoint, so that means that p the vector PM, PM, vector PM is going to equal a half A minus 3 over 2B, and the vector, here we go again with another shocking uh, curly bracket. Let's try it again. Uh, much better. Um, this must also be a half a minus 3 over 2b. Okay. So this here, a minus 3b, is the total, is the whole vector from p to b. And then um, half a minus 3 over 2b is from p to m, and it's the same form m to b. Um, okay, so we're asked to show that NMC is a straight line. So in other words, I need to show that if I take a line from here to here, NMC, we get a straight line. The way to do that would be to show that um, NM and N uh, and NC are, are that NM is some multiple of NC. So if I can multiply nm by some value to get nc, um, then I know that they're on a straight line because m is a common point. So let's work out what the vector nm is. Okay, if I want to go uh, from n to m, one way of doing it is to travel np and then pm. So if I go from N to P, and then I go from P to M, that's the same. Now we know that NP is B, and the vector PM is a half A minus 3 over 2B. A half A minus 3 over 2B. And let's just tidy that up. We get a half a 
and then b minus 3 over 2b is going to be equal to minus a half b and i can factor out the half here to make life a little bit easier so it's going to be a half times a minus b so that's the vector nm let's see what the vector nc will be so nc to get from n to c i would have to go na from n to a so i'm going in this direction and then from a all the way over to c okay well na is going to be minus 2b remember the direction from a to n is this is in this direction so the direction from n to a is going to change the sign so instead of 2b we're going to have minus 2b plus and then ac from a to c well i know from a to b is a but do i know anything about here is b a midpoint um let's have a look b is the midpoint of ac so b is the midpoint of ac so if that's the vector a well then this must also be the vector a so that means the vector ac is going to be 2a plus 2a and i can factor out 2 here as well so that's 2 times a minus b so we can see that the vector nm is a half a minus b and the vector nc is 2 times a minus b so that means that if i take um nc nc is going to equal 4 times the vector nm so just to clarify this one here if i times it by 4 i'm going to get this one so we can see that nc is equal to 4 times nm that means nc is a multiple of nm and they share a common point m see they have a common point n m and n c have a common point n therefore n m c n m c must be a straight line and that's the final question